Hello everybody, it's Scott Omaro. In this video, I'm gonna show you a very simple way to link the Twitch launcher and the official Minecraft launcher, the official Mojang launcher, together to play a mod pack from Twitch in the regular launcher. Now, why would you wanna do that? Well, maybe Twitch is down. You know, sometimes Twitch has trouble loading mod packs. Uh, you can play it direct from disk if you've already downloaded it here in the Mojang launcher. Uh, you may also have trouble with some of the newer Forge installs above 1.13. The Forge install method is completely different. Or maybe you can't play with this new native version. You can only play with the old JAR version, um, which has, you know, news from 2000 or news from 1.111 and stuff like that. Um, so it's very, very simple to do, guys. All right. So here is a 114 mod pack that I've created in the Twitch launcher. Okay. And you want to take note uh, of the Forge version. So this is Forge 28.144. Now you can usually go a higher version, like Forge is being released uh, frequently now. And there's not, there is a stable version, but it's quite an older one. And they've added quite a few new features um in the newer versions but i'll show you that you can possibly use an older version but it's good to keep them in sync with each other all right so you're going to want to go to the forge site and download the version that you want and install it in your minecraft launcher here uh, they have an installer for that and it's a simple clean way of doing it um it's the cleanest way right now uh again i have some trouble with playing forge uh newer forge versions on twitch so basically, uh, after you've created a new profile, all you need to do is go to the installation section for it, find that profile that you've installed right here, choose edit the profile, and then link to the Twitch folder for the mod pack that you wanna play using the browse button, okay? So uh, again, this is it linked here on my disk, but you can find that by doing open folder and it will open the folder uh, where that's installed. And then you could take note of where that is in the path. Again, it's normally in your documents folder, a curse folder, and then instances. And then inside of there would be your mod pack. This one's MC114. So all you have to do is just link to that through this browse, okay? Now, again, you're gonna have to want make sure that forge profile is selected and if you're playing a larger mod pack you're going to want to select more options here and change your memory amount so i'll give it four gigs here you just want to change this x max memory is basically what that is uh, to give it however much four gigs if you're playing a big pack like uh sky factory or something like that then you know you're going to want to give it six or eight uh, something along those lines and then once you hit play it's going to launch now it's using that folder back here and then the cool thing about that is that if i update mods you can see it's doing preparing and all that kind of stuff now i also have the log probably pop-ups because i have the log selected uh, which is good because you can see the loading of things see, here's the log so it'll let you know that things are happening uh, but once the game window pops up, then you'll also be able to see the loading process uh, through Forge and all that. Um, again, normally if it stalls like at the end and, and crashes out, it's usually that you don't have enough memory assigned. So just be aware of that, that it's usually you don't have enough memory. But again, back here in Twitch, if I don't have, you know, this running, obviously, uh, it, it doesn't matter what it's running because it's loaded them all into memory you can see it's loading everything here this is the game window the mojang thing will pop up eventually it's telling me it's the forge version that i'm running and all that kind of stuff all right so we'll give it a, a moment for that but uh, again you can update your mods that's what's cool you can install and get more content you know use the features of twitch uh which Twitch is really forcing you now to use this application to manage uh, their CurseForge mod packs and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, you can update your mods and all that, and they will be reflected back in the Mojang Launcher because the Mojang Launcher is using um, 
using that folder that very same folder okay so see we're going through the load process here and all of that so that will work and again it is the way that you can go through and play something like sky factory or something in your mojang launcher uh, in the official launcher and keep it up to date now again once you've downloaded it you're going to want to make a profile of 1.12.2 with this forge version for that particular one it's very important in these large professional mod packs or whatever to match the forge version so you'd want to install that from the website 2838 and then uh, you could just do the link to the same folder and install and then if there was ever an update you could just like open twitch every once in a while check and see if there's an update and if there is you can install that update and then go ahead and uh, play it in the regular launcher so anyway guys it's a very simple way of doing it uh, i hope that's helpful to you uh, it's it's good like i said if twitch is offline or something like that or uh, just under various conditions it can be useful or maybe you just you know this launcher this new minecraft launcher is becoming pretty nice in the things it can do and i'll make more videos about it but anyway this is going to be it for this video and this is scott omato thanks so much for watching guys have a great day bye bye